Iran has successfully launched a homemade satellite carrier rocket known as Safir Omid, arousing the attention of all countries. It is Iran's first domestically made satellite carrier capable of putting its lightweight satellite into low Earth orbit. The launch of Safir rocket is to test remote sensing, satellite telemetry, and geometric information system technology, as well as remote and ground station data processing. Iran has plans to put a series of satellites into space by 2010 to aid natural disaster management programs and improve telecommunications services. We believe Iran has the right to get its own initiative in the field of uh, uh, power. Every Muslim around the world became very happy about this news because we believe this is our rights. People from Arab and Muslim countries held Iran's successful accomplishment of launching the Safir satellite carrier rocket and considered it as a great scientific and technological progress. It is an honor for us that the Islamic Republic of Iran has the capacity to make satellite carriers and is able to compete with American and European countries. I'd like to see the chance to, say, to express my congratulations to the, to the Iranian government and the Iranian people on this scientific uh, achievement. I'd just like to say congratulations to Iran for their, this Safir program up into space and all the best for the future with it and I hope you get everything that you need from it. The successful launch of Safir shows that Iran has mastered the advanced technology required to manufacture, launch and track satellites as well as transmit or receive information from them. As analysts believe that despite the Western opposition to the disputed peaceful nuclear program, Iran has been pursuing a space program for several years. Samer Dada, Press TV, Damascus.